We were very cool. Though. Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> yep. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Insights Podcast presented by Vantage Pro. We're back. It's We, uh, we are back. It's good to be back. Uh, <laughs> my name is Duke DeYoung. With me, as always, my co-host, my good friend, the illustrious Van Metschke. Yes, I am back. It is me. It is one of those <laughs> things. Yeah. Um, so some of you may be going, Hey, what do you mean you're back? Did, where did you go somewhere? And, and the answer is not really, but, uh, we, we, you know, we've been podcasting for years, uh, decade, yep. a decade and a half. Has it been like 13, 13, 14 years, something like that. I started podcasting when I was at Mariners and that was a very long time ago. So, Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the, 2000, was... 2000, the, uh, the aughts, I believe is what they're calling it now. The, the internet was pretty young at that point. Yeah. The zeros, the aughts, whatever it was, whatever it was. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I did my one, uh, the sound booth podcast and realized that I didn't have enough time to do it the way I wanted to the long mm. form hour long, you know, pretty cool. It was kind of like a magazine. It was, well, it was basically based on This American Life by Ira Glass. That's what it was. Cause I was listening to that a lot at the time and I really loved how that podcast sounded, but it was super produced. And then I found out they had like 40 people working on that podcast every week. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's why. And I'm trying to do it by, by myself. That helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was like, mm, yeah. And then we got hooked up. Then I got hooked up with uh, Faith Tools and, and Colin Birch. And, yep. you know, that's where I met Mike and, you know, that's kind of how it all. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget. I mean, that's how I met Mike. Our first, the first time meeting each other was a Skype call for episode one of church tech weekly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I had gone to infocom. He hadn't, he's like, I want to do an infocom wrap up show for my podcast. And I'm going cool. Okay. And it wasn't until we got on the phone and he's like, yeah, so this is episode one. I'm going, Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. It was, it, it, it's just really funny how it all how we all met, how it kind of all came together. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we were on that faith tools podcast and I was a, um, I was an alternate because my friend, Rick Pepper, um, who I've actually never met in person, but I had, he was actually one of the people that was interviewed for the sound booth, uh, um, podcast because he had reached out to me and we were talking back and forth. And, uh, he said, Hey, I'm on this podcast, but I can't be on tonight. Would you fill in for me? And I'll just send your information to Colin. And I'm like, sure, I'll do that. That's great. And apparently somebody else had bailed and Mike was the other alter alternate. <laughs> so we was like two alternates. And, and then after the podcast was over, Mike and Colin and I literally talked for probably two more hours after the podcast was over, just learning about who we were and what, what our backgrounds were and all that stuff. And those guys were both on the East coast and it was for me, it was like 11 o'clock at night. So it was like, you know, two o'clock in the morning <laughs> for those guys, <laughs> you know? And, uh, so, but that's, yeah, that's, that's how it started. And then though, then I met you at, didn't I meet you at a round table well, we had done the podcast a number of times, but yeah, I came yeah, out. Um, yeah, I knew you did the podcast, fall. but I'd never yeah, met you we, in person until, I feel like it was the one at South Hills, wasn't it? It was. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I was in SoCal. I came out, um, I had just left my role as tech director um, at a church in Tucson. And before I started uh, my, my next gig, I took a week um, and came out. I met Mike uh, in person. Um and then I came up for the round table. Uh, I got to meet guys like it was crazy because I met I met Mike, uh, uh, Greg Baker and uh, John. Um, oh, I'm totally spacing his name. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Saddleback um, Griffin. Oh, John Griffin. Uh, yeah. There's, so a, lot of, there's a lot of John. So I know. I'm not sure I which know. John you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. You know, John at Saddleback. Yeah, that doesn't narrow it down. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, at all. No, no. But you know, I came out and spent uh, three or four days out in SoCal, getting to finally meet all you guys. So yeah, um, yeah, that was a long time ago. That was uh, probably 2010, mm, maybe. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. So yeah. So ten I'd years look, of. I'd, uh, I'd have to look it uh, up on my LinkedIn bio to see where I was. 
<laughs> to, see, to see where I was. Honestly, it's it's really funny. I don't even look at my bio. Like I don't even look at my resume that I have. Uh, you know, on my on my desktop, as my father always told me to have. Uh, there you go. Have your resume ready on right on the corner of your desk. But you know, desktop is where it is now. But yeah. Uh, I actually have, I actually look at my LinkedIn bio. People go, so when were you at blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, hang on a second. Let me, <laughs> let me look. I don't remember anymore. You know? Yeah. So, because you know, being, yeah. a, five, being a five year guy, it, 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 you have a long list of places you've been. <laughs> like I was, well, uh, you say five year, but man, we, we ran with church tech weekly for uh, just about just shy of 10. Oh yeah. And I can't remember how many hundreds of episodes. Yeah. Well, it was, it was 10 years and it was every week for eight years, probably something like years. You know, before it became church tech, whenever. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, then we all, we all kind of left, uh, being, uh, well, I hadn't left being a tech director yet, but you and Mike had left being tech directors and went into integration and I was still a tech director. Um, but I had one up on both of you cause I'd actually been in integration before <laughs> I was in church. <laughs> so True. I was in integration for six years and then went into being a church tech director, but you know, so anyway, but you know, but I'm the old guy. So we've so it, we've done know. some, we've done some video stuff. We've done yeah. some audio stuff. We've, we've done some stuff between then and now and yeah. Gave it, gave it a run with green room, but it just, the timing wasn't right. And so we were, we were having a hard time getting it rolling. Yeah. And I, and I think, you know, I think the time is right here for the, one of the reasons, you know, we were, we were talking about this, why we want to do a video, uh, more video centric podcast. I think the timing is right. Video podcasts are hot. They've been hot for a while. Um, but now they're, you know, that now they're like what I would consider mainstream, you know, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's weird. I say this on one hand, I say, I don't know why people would want to just literally sit and watch people <laughs> talk on microphones, but then I do it. <laughs> but then I watch people talk on microphones, you know, and there's, I have four or five video podcasts that I watch. And it's more of one of those things where even like with audio podcasts, it's one of those things where you kind of have it off in the background on like a second screen and you're not really right. watching it it's, it's more, it's honestly, it's like what we did with TV back in the day. You know, a lot of people would always have their TV on and it would just kind of be on in the background of life. And even if you, even if you weren't watching the show, it was just kind of on or the radio, you know, way, way back, you know, like maybe in my, when my parents were young and stuff like that, they just have the radio on. You just be on in the background all the time. So, and I grew up, I mean, when I grew up, we, we listened, well, we didn't listen to the radio that eh, we kind of did, but mostly we listened to, music you know we always had music on always all the time there was always a a record and then a eight track and then a cassette and then a cd (laughs) right (laughs) and then spotify um you know but uh no there's there's a couple more in between cds and spotify but they're all gone probably a few yeah yeah i don't know if they're gone now but um you know there's what's what's the other one that's not spotify um the one that's kind of was there and, and it kind of left. I don't even know what it is now because Spotify has kind of taken over the world, but um, there's a couple other music ones. I I, I yeah. wonder if that is that lossless uh, music service still around that Mike and I were oh. messing around with that. That I don't know. Yeah. You could download full. Uh, I mean, it was like you had to pay for it, you know, right. You know, but you could download a full, you know, the full bandwidth songs and they had, thousands and thousands of songs and because if you guys don't understand this uh uh, a record has better bandwidth than an ipod (laughs) than itunes does it actually has it actually has more information on it um they're they're working on it and yeah it's getting better but still like the stuff apple lost this stuff is definitely better better than mp3 right well on my on my phone i have six tracks in iTunes that are lossless full bandwidth songs. So when I go to demo a sound system, that's what I play. I don't play stuff off of Spotify. I don't play stuff. Well, I will. I mean, if they want to hear a specific song, but I have, you know, I have the typical, uh, you know, sound of silence, uh, 
Babylon Sisters, uh, Money for Nothing, uh, Digging on James Brown, you know, all those, yeah. all those songs that have tons of bandwidth, you know, that are, are big fat songs sound really good. I have those lossless on my phone. So if I ever want to listen go. to a sound system, I can put those on, you know, that's a good, uh, good podcast topic. We should, we should do one, uh, make yeah. a note. We should do one on, uh, uh, just reference songs. That'd be fun. Yeah. What are good reference songs? So we'll, yeah. we'll get, we'll get some of our friends on and we'll just talk about reference songs. So yeah. I like it. So if you are watching this podcast and you have gotten this far <laughs> and you want to know and you want to have your input, put down in the comments what uh there you go because i'm scarily going to turn comments on for this for these podcasts Ooh, we're just gonna yeah. see, you know, we're just going to see what happens it's uh terrifying. We'll see what the bots do to us it's terrifying <laughs> comments are terrifying so that's what i learned um uh, uh if you'll awesome. if you if you notice well comments are uh, comments are turned on on all our videos but i moderate them so um yeah and it's just so funny, you know, we are, we were already talking about this the other day. I said, you, so our biggest video on the, on the Vantage Pro, uh, uh, YouTube channel is the DM seven launch, uh, the Yamaha DM seven launch. And of course yeah, we got a great walk through it at Infocom. Oh, I mean, it's a great video, man. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'll put, I'll put, uh, wherever the, wherever the things are in the videos up here, <laughs> I'll put a link, I'll put a link to, I'll put a link <laughs> I'll put a link to it in one of the corners so you can watch it. Um, but uh, it's actually a great video. Jonathan did a great job. Jonathan from yeah. uh, uh, Yamaha did 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 an amazing walkthrough. He knows his stuff. He knows this console. I mean, like you mm -hmm. can just tell he knows that console uh, inside and out. And you know they did a great launch. Yamaha does good launches when they do. Yamaha is always kind of late to the party, but once they do get to the party, they're the life of the party. So it's kind of like, you know, it's, it, they, they, they kind of know how to launch. They, they are really good at launching project products. So, but we were talking about that, you know, the, the, when we, when we had, uh, um, our, the DM seven YouTube video, some of the comments uh, and, and to be honest, folks, if you come comment on our videos and you're mean, you're not, they're not going to show up. I'm not going to put mean <laughs> comments and what I mean, and, and I'm not, you know, being, like a softie or everything. But I, and when I say mean, if any of you know me and my there, sarcasm, there are some folks who really don't like Yamaha period, uh, they can do no right. Well, there's, <laughs> there's sarcasm. <laughs> and then there's like, dude, is that helpful to the conversation of helping people understand the console? You know, I mean, and I'm not, you know, I, 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 I'll, 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 if you know me, you know, I'll jab with the best of them, but there's just a point where you're just like, eh, dude, that's, that's, you know, that, that's not helpful to the conversation. And that's not all. what we're here for. No, really. and, and I, and I think there is a, um, I think on YouTube or any social media, there always is, there are always people that want to, mm -hmm. they want to drop a grenade to spin people up. You know, so they want to see how much hate they can get from the hate yep. they gave. And I'm not going to, for us, it's just not the, this is just not where that's going to happen. You know, so I just, don't, I don't yeah. just don't post it. If you want to be helpful, if you want to have some great insights or talk to a story about why 96 K is better than 48 K or any of those things, fantastic, man, put it on. It's all good. I'll, I'll post it back. We'll have a conversation. If you're just going to be a jerk, eh. You know, you can do, there's like 20 billion other YouTube channels you can be a jerk on. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to put it up there, but it was just, it was just really, it was just really, really interesting to see, to see the comments. Um, yeah. You know, I don't think I paid that much attention to comments on stuff uh, before we had that one because it blew up so much. And apparently 96. On social media in general, people are just aren't nice. Uh, no, the board no, not anymore. They, yeah, they aren't. Um, yeah. especially on certain platforms. Um, uh, Twitter X, whatever it's called today, Elon may change the name again tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> but, um, the Twix? That play, that, just short it Twitter X to Twix. Yeah, it's Twix. That's what it is. It's Twix. I think I you like figured it. it out. I think you figured like it, it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And that's another topic, you know, I mean, we could talk about that too, because that's, that's, that's an interesting topic. Um, I would love to know where, where people in this, in this, um, in this tribe are hanging out now. Are they, yeah. are you all hanging 
it's obviously not Twitter. Twitter started the whole thing. Twitter blew it up. It was really the very first thing. It's really where, yeah. Back when we were tech directors, that's where the whole community really was engaging with each other. Really was, yeah. It yeah. was for sure. And you know, um, I think I I think that it was a great place. Uh, it got hijacked by politics, and once it got hijacked by politics, it just kind of became a little bit of a dumpster fire uh, mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, on both sides, doesn't matter what side of the aisle you on, it became a just huge dumpster fire. And there was just a lot yeah. of really bad stuff going around. They tried to moderate that. I think you know, it's you politics, know, it, whatever, uh, advertising but, and, um, and really, uh, influencers have kind of yeah changed social media from being, um, really an engaging platform and a relationship building platform to really a commodity. I mean, it, it's, That's what people are buying and selling our time. Well, that's what, you know, I, I mean, somebody said years ago with G, when Gmail really became prevalent, they said, just remember that, you know, when something's, mm -hmm. when something's free, the commodity is you, you. Yeah. And so, yeah, totally. you, you know, you gotta, you have to, you have to always remember that. And so I never feel like, you know, I, I mean, I'll, we post, we post on X and I'll, I post on it just because I can, but mm -hmm. honestly, we don't get that much engagement from it anymore. We get no. more engagement from Facebook and Facebook Instagram. and Instagram. It seems like, yeah. Yeah. And YouTube. And, yeah. And so, um, you know, I, um, I would love to know, uh, you know, I know that, uh, since I, you know, I tech direct at a, at a high school as well. I, a lot of the kids are on, you know, like be real and stuff like that. And I know that that's a thing and, uh, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, I'm not on it cause I'm an old guy. I don't care, but, uh, <laughs> but I would be, but honestly I would be interested, you know, and obviously there's TikTok, and can, we're not even going to have a conversation about that, but I, I, I'm, uh, I'm just really interested that, uh, where, uh, you all as people in the tech industry, um, tech directors, creatives, and people in the tech industry as well are hanging out on social media these days. Where do you all feel mm -hmm. like there's good community and things like that? I'm really, I really interested to know that because, you know, the landscape has changed and obviously it's flooded with, you know, I mean, even Instagram did threads, which I, I think is a failure. I don't think it's gonna yeah i mean i look on it all the time and basically it's just everybody reposting their instagram posts on i've opened it twice on a thing that looks like twitter yeah. <laughs> basically it's what it is so i don't you know you uh, i mean i would love so, to be proven wrong so if you're one of the amazing few yeah. people uh who are listening to our pilot episode of the insights yeah. podcast uh, drop us a note, drop us a comment in the, uh, in, in below and, and tell us what social media you're on. Cause that, that actually helps us, uh, engage with you better. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so really, I mean, the podcast, when we, when we were doing church tech weekly for all those years, the idea behind uh, green room, which we, we started and then, and didn't get very far on a couple of years ago. I mean, this has always been about supporting you know those out there in the in the church community whether it's the technicians the worship leaders uh even the senior pastors i mean it seems like i'm talking to a bunch of senior pastors these days who are smaller churches and they're a lot of times they're one-man band i mean they're the guys who have to know the audio system as well yeah. um and so really our our goal is just to support um those of you guys who are on the front lines of ministry um with really whatever tools we can to help you guys and so uh, we've been brainstorming a lot of topics. I think we've got some fun stuff coming your way. We've we've got um, a number of uh, tech directors that uh, we're we're already talking to about getting uh, onto onto the show here, and uh, some fun topics. I think um, we've got some worship pastors and senior pastors we want to bring on and talk to as well. Um, some guys that we've met at smaller churches and, and larger churches, both, who are really um, trying to shift the culture of of what their ministry is even doing. And, um, we've been inspired by them. So we, we would, we, we would love for, for those of you out there, um, 
who need some inspiration as to why we do ministry and and the impact that you can have in your community um, we want you to hear from those guys too so yeah um so we've got a bunch of stuff lined up and and then also we'll probably get some manufacturers on here at different times as well um there are uh it's it's so fascinating because as a tech director you know i rarely got to know anybody from the manufacturers i mean every once in a while but but rarely did and it turns out there's actually a lot of really cool people uh, who are working on the manufacturing side who used to be on the tech director side of life or used yeah. to be in ministry. Um, yeah. So there's some really cool stories out there, too, that that we we would just want to introduce you guys to some people because, again, they were inspiring to us. Yeah. Um, and, and we think that would be great for everybody to hear. And, and, and as we always said with the other podcasts and stuff, too, um, you know, that if you have if you want to be on and you're <laughs> in this tribe in any way shape or form um hit me up and you yeah. know, I'll, I'll uh just uh you know I'll, I'll roll this in because i think it's you know i i spent a lot of time working on it there you go <laughs> just email me right there and and the links will be in the in the description we're, but, we're a professional operation folks we're a professional <laughs> operation See, i can do i can do dukes too there you go. See, that's pretty cool there you go no um, yeah i know for sure if 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 you're somebody um i think if you've got a topic you'd like us to cover or if there are people you'd like us to to interview on this podcast uh whether it's manufacturing whether it's uh uh, in a church or even outside of it, I, we're, we're definitely not going to keep, um, the, the topics too limited here. We're, we're, no. we're just going to kind of hit anything that inspires us. Um, cause we think, uh, if it inspires us, it, it probably has a good chance of inspiring you as well. So yep. if you have ideas or people, uh, and even if you're that person, you, you've got something you want to talk about, um, or even if you just want to hop on and ask questions, man, just hit us up. Yeah. And eventually after we build, if we build an audience, if, and when we build an audience, we wow. may do, we may do some live streams where we have, we, you know, I think may, we will. I, maybe I've filed a right here is already on my radar. We got to do a live one out of Philo. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. We can probably do a live stream for Philo and, and hit us up. I mean, tell us what, like one of the things we're interested in too, is tell us what uh, conventions and shows and stuff that you're going to and what mm. what is helpful for you in ministry whether it be you know whether it be mxu or philo or salt or you know any of any of those things uh wave or it, i mean there's a there's so much stuff out there you know yeah now that CF, now that CFX. we're getting back out to all these different events yeah. and all that stuff yeah we we definitely want to see everybody again because it's been kind of it's been kind of a bummer the last couple of years not getting to see everybody out on the road as much yeah. And anytime we do see people, it's, it's like, you know, old home week. Um, yeah. You know, I keep thinking back to when we saw it, when we saw Dave, uh, um, uh, I'm having a total mind blank. That guy. Uh, yeah. Ragsdale. Uh, Ragsdale. Oh, Scott. Yeah. Scott Ragsdale. Uh, I don't know why I just had a, I had a total brain fade right there when i was well that was like three months ago so yeah and so uh it was great seeing scott and and just hanging out we honestly and and we, we i think we stood lived. in the middle of the aisle at infocom for a good solid hour and a half it was yeah we should have gone yeah. actually out to eat and <laughs> just hung out because well, we were playing out that night so it was always good seeing scott so but anyway um i you know we we want, we definitely want to know what you guys are doing, where you guys are going, what you're seeing, all that kind of stuff. And, and we want to get people on that you want to hear from. Uh, it's not about us. Uh, we're not really, we're not really doing this podcast for any other reason that we love this tribe. And, um, you know, we miss, we miss doing a podcast and we had a and lot it's, of fun, it's doing fun it. for us to hang out with everybody. Yeah. And we want to add value to what you're doing and you know, where yep. you're going. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good, info out there that a lot of people have podcasts but we do get people asking a lot why why you guys don't do a podcast anymore so we're back doing a podcast again. Right. Here, we, here we go so just know this is going to be um pretty much strictly on youtube and spotify eventually and if it honestly if i get enough people going hey please put this on an audio podcast mm -hmm. we will put it on an audio podcast eventually it's just as anybody who any of you know doing an audio podcast is actually a lot of work on the back end and you know i just really don't want to do it if three people are going to do the podcast to be honest right. so you know but if a bunch of people tell me hey you know 
put it on audio. I'll, I will put it on audio. We have the availability to do that. So it's not the end of the world, but anyway, we have the technology. Yep. So we're going to, we're going to, you know, probably do this. I, I'm feeling like it's going to be every other week. That's, that's what we've kind of been shooting for. So please like, and subscribe and share this with other folks. Um, this will be its own channel on the Vantage Pro YouTube ch- uh, channel. I mean, it'll be at Vantage Pro's YouTube channel, but it'll be have its own channel on there. So, yeah. um, you know, if you just want to subscribe to that channel, you can. Uh, anyway, so there's a lot of other good stuff, though. I mean, once you're once you head over to the YouTube's, um, there's we we try to uh, get get product videos of stuff that's interesting to us or stuff that's yeah. brand new. Uh, so as things come out and, um, so we're, we're, we're trying to shoot some hands-on stuff at the, at the various trade shows, like the Yamaha DM seven that came out and the DM three. Right. Um, sometimes I think we're probably going to end up doing some stuff where it's more remote, where we, we're not necessarily standing in front of the uh, console, but we might do some, some short, uh, uh, like again, a new product just really catches our eye and we we just want to get that out for you guys as soon as possible. So. Um, so there's that kind of stuff as well. Um, as well as we just, we just love talking to people. So in our, uh, in our day jobs of, uh, doing audio, video and lighting for, for churches all over the country, uh, sometimes we just get a chance to talk with people for a few minutes and they they've just got a great story and things to share. And so some of that will end up on our YouTube channel as well. So, uh, lots of good yeah. stuff. And if there's something you don't see, if there's something you'd love for us to cover, get our perspective on whatever, uh, that's outside of the podcast. So whether, so whether it's a product or, or whatever, yeah. um, how to's those kinds of things. We, we've got lots of different ideas kind of stirring around and, uh, we'll just see how much time we have for all of it. So, yeah. If, and um, if you find products that are weird, that are helpful to you in your church world, uh, yeah, send it to us because we, we love finding new products and weird yeah, we'll dig into it. stuff that, you know, is like this, you know, you know, Hey, I found this new product that we can, uh, that I can launch the entire show from one, you know, button or something like that, which there actually is it, you know, stuff like that out there. But, you know, we love all that kind of stuff, things that, things that are time savers, things that can help your workflow better, you know, or cool products. Maybe you want to see a product and have, have had a really hard time getting your hands on it. Uh, like I'm thinking of the Allen and Heath CQ, which I've literally gotten, uh, <laughs> multiple texts on and emails from, uh, all the folks going, Hey, do you have one already? Can we get our hands on one? Whatever. Uh, as no. soon as we have one, we will, we will have, we will, we will show it off. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, things like that. So if you have something like that, hit us up. Yep. We, we love to know. And, and we don't always know all the new products. I mean, we're pretty good at it because of what we do, but sometimes we don't hear about things until they've been out quite a bit. So you yeah, know, all the so. major manufacturers are good at talking to us, but some of the kind of the more, uh, non mainline stuff or yeah. kind of the, the rare finds, um, Sure. And especially like on our staff, our engineering guys, they love weird, quirky things that will connect things together and make things better, you know? Um, yeah. And so that's always something we're, we're looking for. And we love to show it off to all you and, you know, so that everybody can benefit from it. So anyway, yeah. but uh, yeah, so, just so like, and subscribe yeah. to the channel and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, we'll be able to give you guys some value. So until yep. next time. Yeah, we're going to keep these short, so uh, which will be for those of you who are longtime listeners, that will be new for you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. These so. we we've kind of promised that these things will be will be uh, thirty to forty minutes. Yeah, That's yeah, it. thirty minutes uh, really is what I'm shooting for. And the great thing is, if we have a long form that just goes long, we'll just yeah, we'll, we'll just, just do multiple weeks, do multiple yep. ones, and 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 go for that. So hit us up, like and subscribe, and let us know what you want us to talk about. And we're uh, just blessed and honored to have y'all staying with us and uh, hopefully we'll be able to give you guys some value in this. So until then we will talk to you guys later.